Hello, this is Jack from Fab Lab Coventry and I'm going to take you through a series of short tutorials introducing Tinkercad, which is a free to access software and a great first step in learning about 3D modeling and 3D design. So what we're going to do over several stages is create an egg and then learn how to decorate it and trim the edges so that they're smooth with the egg. The first thing to do in any 3D program is realise we are working in three dimensions. I can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. If I hold the mouse wheel down as a button, I can slide the space around. And then with the right mouse button, I can rotate. Also in the top left, there is a cube with top and front. So if I click on the word front, it goes to the front. I can drag that around as well. And what's quite useful just below that is a home button which takes us to a standard position so if you get lost you can always click that and find your way home okay so that's the fundamentals it comes with practice um, i'm not going to go into great details about how to navigate in the 3d space but it's it's one of the first skills you'll have to get with any 3d program so and you can see from the display below which uh, mouse buttons i'm using so to create my egg i'm just going to put these to the back just click and drag and put those out of the way. The first thing I'm going to do is use these basic shapes which come up on the right hand side and I'm going to scroll down until I find the half sphere. I bring that onto the screen so I just click and drag or click and move the mouse it'll appear. So that's a half sphere as you'd expect. I'm going to use Control D to duplicate it or there's a button up in the top left here. I duplicate and repeat so I'm just going to press Control D because I like quick keys but I'm going to take the bottom one and then these little round arrows they spin an object around if you keep the cursor on the inside of the protractor you can see it's got fewer divisions it tends to spin in, in uh, eighths of a circle or sixteenths of a circle whereas if you spin on the outside you can take it by single degrees so we just want it 180 degrees so that's there. I'm then going to take this white so the white squares change the dimensions and I'm going to take that one and I'm going to stretch the height there to be 15 and then this little red hat one at the top that lifts and lowers that's how you raised it up earlier on I'll take that down to meet the egg at the bottom okay so to change the color I'm just going to click on the top half and over here by the, where it says shape there's a color swatch and if you click on that you get a color palette here so i'm going to choose an orange for no apparent reason so we've got two halves of our egg i can now group them together so when you've got one item these selected these menus in the top right are grayed out but once you've got more than one item selected there's a range of options so this one is group or control G so I'll use control G and what we notice is we've lost the two colors but in the color menu near the bottom there's a tick box which is multicolor so click on that and that gives us our basic egg I'll see you in the next tutorial where we're going to look at scaling shapes okay thanks for watching